what is up people i do hope you're well and firstly i'd like to make an apology to each of you because basically i haven't been keeping up with my content as you see i haven't posted in a while recently got diagnosed with ptsd but we'll talk about that for another time because basically i know what you're here for and today we are going with r slash ask reddit and let's get straight into it police officers of reddit what was your they could have gotten away with it if they kept their mouth shut moment? I had a car pass me once. Passenger hangs the upper half of his body out the passenger side window with his middle finger in the air while screaming, fuck the police. Why? He had the attention. <laughs> he had my attention for the seatbelt violation. I got behind the car and ran the registration. Registration is suspended. Registered owner's driving license is attached to the registration and his license is suspended. Registered owner also has two warrants for retail theft. I stopped the car and they both started with a free speech thing and how I can't stop them for giving me the finger or swearing, which is 100% correct. When I pointed out that I can, however, stop them for the passenger not wearing a seatbelt and for the registration violation, suddenly they got quiet. The driver got arrested for suspended license and his warrants and the passenger got himself a citation. The driver's vehicle got impounded. Moral of the story, Tell your passengers to shut their mouths. Had the guy not been a moron, his buddy would have been homeward bound. <laughs> I was asked to keep the peace while two probation officers searched the guy's house. Before everyone gets upset, in most jurisdictions, you have to submit to a search of your person and your home if you're on probation. During the search, a PO lifted the probationer's mattress and said monotonously, wow. The probationer got upset and said, yeah, it's fucking meth in a gun. Arrest me. I don't give a fuck. Turns out the PO found a huge dildo, but after the guy opened his mouth, the PO lifted the mattress more and found a bunch of individually wrapped grams of meth and a Glock 17. The PO said that seeing the dildo was enough for him to ignore the mattress, but because the guy said something, he kept looking. The guy's attitude and his need to open his mouth got him 10 years in prison. All because of a dildo. <laughs> Not a police officer. But I do know this house in my local village that was a notorious drug den. The police came to search the place but couldn't find anything. As they were leaving, the lovely owner yelled at them that they should have bought the drug dogs. So yeah, they came back a few days later with the drug sniffing dogs and found huge amounts of drugs hidden away. Absolute morons. What? Why would they shout that? <laughs> Why? Do they think they were just going to get away with it? Just like that if they shout? I don't know. People, as I said, absolute morons. <laughs> Similarly, when I was growing up, a cop approached my mum, an attorney, at our house. She closed the door behind her and I watched the interaction inside with my doggo. Now, my mum was always very honest with me about criminal stuff. She probably wanted to scare me out of committing crimes, something that largely worked. She comes back inside a good 30 minutes later and tells me about the stupidest meth dealers ever. Guy and girlfriend sell mad meth just down the block from my house. They are the big boy distributors of the area. Small but biggish city, don't know how the fuck the meth scene works. And the cops have been hoping to bring these guys down. Well, the cops caught a break when the meth's head confessed to a dispatcher. Turns out, they were robbed by a rival dealer and their computer was stolen. This is in the early 2000s, so desktops were pretty clunky, along with all their meth. They called 911 and proceeded to tell them all of these details, somehow never realising their stupidity. The cops swooped in, station is literally two minutes away and arrested the lot of them. And then told my mum everything. They were in our neighborhood and my mum knows and is loved by everyone. Moral of the story, when reporting your house is being robbed, maybe leave out the part where all your meth was stolen. <laughs> that doesn't actually surprise me that people were that stupid. <laughs> okay, so we had a DUI accident where a guy kept driving straight into the woods into a tree because his GPS was projecting a future street. He walked back into his hotel room and left his check-in papers in the car. So we go to the hotel and go to his room and knock on the door. He did not have to answer, but he did. He is pretty clearly drunk. I asked him if he had anything to drink since the accident. He did not answer, or he could have told us that he drank after the accident. He said, no, I haven't had anything to drink since the accident. And where I'm from, you have 24 hours to report a property damage only accident. So it wasn't even a hit and run. So as I'm locking this guy up, he tells me he's a lawyer. I told him, I hope you're not a defense attorney. But in his defense, he was drunk. <laughs> and that seems a bit mad that you actually have 24 hours to report it. Because if you are drunk, then surely you're just going, 
sober up and then report it the next day. That seems crazy. So you can easily get away with drink driving because you have 24 hours to report it. I might be mistaken here, but I think in the UK it has to be reported immediately, but I don't know. Currently watching Live PD and the guy told the officer, I have caffeine pills in my back pocket. Gets them out and puts them on the hood. Everyone's chill. Dude then comes clean and says it's Molly and the officers look at each other and go, do we even have a test kit for that? Other officer says, no. Dude's face just shows he should have kept his mouth shut. <laughs> so he could have got away with it if he just kept his damn mouth shut. Pull over this guy for expired tabs, ask for his ID and he's feeling around for his wallet. Can't find it. He says, ah oh man, I'm one of you, it's cool. Oh, what department? Oh, uh, actually I'm a security guard, but same thing. I'm polite. So, where's your ID? Oh, it's in the... And he motions to the trunk. It's in the trunk. Uh, actually, n no. My BS radar is going off. Okay, want to get your ID out of the trunk? Nah, I don't have it. He starts looking around for another story to use. But now, I know I'm supposed to stay out of the trunk. He's also not giving me any more information. No ID? Then I have to take you in and get you fingerprinted. I'm going to get into that trunk one way or another. He's looking like he's lost. I ask him what's in the trunk, but he's not talking anymore. We pull him out and get him in cuffs. Another officer takes him to get ID through fingerprints. Since his car has expired past six months, California, we tow the car. In the process of getting ready to tow the car, we need to take a quick inventory. In the trunk was a police uniform with fake patches and a metal badge. No gun, but a duty belt. He also has stacks of child porn. This is a guy who a neighboring city had been looking for for months. His MO was to dress as a police officer, talk to kids, and you can figure out the rest. If he just gave me his name, I could have looked up his ID and verified he had one. I'd have probably let him go, but, oh my word. That is sick, isn't it? That's, that's really actually quite scary that he had a fake police uniform and then we're going to talk to kids and let's just, let's hope he didn't. Well, if he had stacks of child porn, who knows what he'd been, what he'd done in the past, man. People like that just need shooting. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Not a cop, but a public defender. Had a client who made a long statement that didn't help her case, but the judge was letting her go without setting bail. Before leaving the courtroom, however, I was informed that police from another precinct were coming to pick her up, and she'd been held until they did. They didn't get her until much later, but I told her to absolutely not say anything to them, to keep her mouth shut. The next day I go to do an arraignment and I get the notice of any statements which started with my lawyer told me not to say anything but this is what happened admitted a variety of crimes it was frustrating to say the least <laughs> what is the point in having a lawyer if you're not going to listen to them seriously but fair enough if, if you've done the crimes you know do the time I'm a nice guy and I enjoy a chat you'd be surprised how much this lowers someone's guard stood in full uniform People would just start telling you things that could get them in trouble. Multiple times I had to tell people to shut up. It was usually petty things like where they hid their weed stash, that they'd got a bifter in their pocket for later. Not really worth the time and effort to deal with with how squeezed we were. One time a guy really got himself into trouble by effectively telling me he had stolen property on him. I had to act on that one. Why would you? How stupid would you have to be to steal something and then walk up to a police officer and tell him, I know he's... I know he said he's a nice guy and enjoy a chat and it lowers people's regard, but how stupid do you have to be <laughs> to admit you've got stolen property on you? Fuck. Not a cop, but have a buddy that is. Nothing too crazy, but he's had countless moments where he's tried to give people a break. All, all they had to do was sit down and be quiet, but they end up talking to themselves into jail. Recently had a dude he pulled over that was a bit over the limit, but not too much, so he's going to let a friend pick him up instead of arresting him. Guy got to talking and basically revealed driving under the influence was something he did fairly regularly. A single mistake is one thing, but my buddy decided that the best chance of getting him to stop would be learning this lesson the hard way. Wow. <laughs> to be fair, he should have just done him the first time. I don't agree with drink driving in at all. I think it's just too fucking dangerous, man. There's no point. Too risky. You put other people's lives at risk at the same time. It's not on. Not a cop either. Friend was pulled over for not wearing a seatbelt while he was with a few buddies. Gets handed his ticket. Guy in the back seat says, Am I going to get a ticket too? Officer replies, Well, were you wearing your seatbelt? Uh, no. Alright, can I see your ID? Not the brightest fella about. <laughs> How 
again, why? <laughs> what a moron. <laughs> Last night, a dude had a gun inside his house. I asked if the gun was stolen. He said, I'm not sure. I asked if I could run the serial number. He gives me the shotgun. Comes back stolen from a department store. He was arrested for possession of a stolen firearm. All he had to do was say no. I had no other reason than consent. If you've got like a gun inside your house, why the hell would you say you're not sure if it's stolen or not? <laughs> not a cop. I had a roommate in college that was no friend of mine. He got in a fight in a bar and was kicked out. He tried to go back into the bar and got thrown out again, but a cop happened to be driving by the second time. Cop told him to relax or he was going to be arrested. He called the cop to arrest him. Cop handcuffs him and puts him in the back of the cop car. Roommate then starts banging on the window. Cop then recuffed him with his hands behind his back. Roommate's stupidity carried on for the next couple of months. He was supposed to go to court over the whole thing, but didn't show up. Police showed up at his job, cuffed him and brought him to court. Judge told him he would have just received a slap on the wrist, but he now has to send him to jail for a couple of days. He was scheduled to report to jail a week or two later, and he didn't show up for that either. By this time, he's disappeared. I never saw the guy again. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> For jail time, two days, he's gone on the run for the rest of his life. <laughs> How ridiculous. <laughs> Not a cop, but a witness. During college, my friends and I would hang outside and smoke hooker. Frequently, we would invite strangers who passed by to join us, or campus police would casually chat with us as they made their rounds. So one time, a group of freshmen walked past and asked to join. After about 15 minutes, the campus police car rolls up and the freshmen get visibly nervous. We tell them to calm down. The cops are chill. As soon as the cops get out of the car, one of the freshmen bolts and makes it about 20 feet before the cop tackles him. We all clap and heckle the kid. Upon searching him, the cop finds a bunch of weed. Then he says, you realize prior to running, I had no reason to be suspicious. I just wanted to talk to my friends over there and points at us. The cop ends up writing a ticket and sends him off. <laughs> <laughs> I just got this picture of them all sat there chill and suddenly this kid getting really nervous and then suddenly wow, he just charges off. <laughs> in college, a buddy and I drove to a house party only for it to get busted as soon as we arrived. In an attempt to show my friend how cool I was, I started antagonising one of the officers from the passenger seat in my buddy's car that was parked on the side of the street, telling him that I'd send him the address to the next party, that kind of thing. We go back and forth until the cop asks my friend to move his car into the driveway. He asks for identification and runs my license. After about 30 minutes, he hands me a max fine ticket for a seatbelt violation. Clever bastard saw I wasn't wearing a seatbelt, so he had my friend move his car a couple of feet so he could ticket me. Ho oh, ho! To be fair, you, just, you deserve that if you're, if you're doing banter with the cops. Shame on you. Anyway guys, once again, Thank you so much for sticking with me. It means the absolute world that you guys still hang around and you still comment, you're still in Discord. Much love to you guys. Take care now. Goodbye.